Do we draw first? You say draw? Okay. Okay. Now it's lethal. Let's go! Boom! Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video, and I have done it. I have completed every single classic achievement in Hearthstone, earning all 1,010 achievement points. And I wanted to create a guide to help you complete them if that's something you're looking into, like the Baron's achievements or Madness of Dark Moon Fair achievements from prior expansions. These do not grant XP. They're purely just for achievement points, which currently cannot be used for anything other than bragging rights. So if you're looking for extra XP, this is not the place to come to, but it's a lot of fun. At least I love achievement hunting, trying to get them done, trying to come up with cool ways of getting them done. So that's what this video is gonna be about. And before we get into the specific achievements, I just wanna let you know that you cannot complete these achievements anywhere other than classic mode. It has to be done on classic ladder. That's it, rank ladder, that's all you can do. Doesn't work in uh, any wild mode, standard mode, arena duels, nothing. Has to be done in classic. And well, that means you have to have the classic cards that go with it. So obviously this one's a little bit more limiting, but again, if you're a classic player, you have a bunch of these cards, you can go for them and I find it to be a lot of fun. And just like the Forge of the Barons achievement guide, I have created a Google doc here. You guys can check it, it's linked below that has all the achievement descriptions, deck lists, uh, achievement point breakdowns, all that stuff. If you wanna check it out, you know, as your achievement hunting, if you don't want the video open or whatever. So if you drop a like or a subscribe on the channel would help a lot. It takes quite a while to put all this together and it took day, like weeks and weeks of achievement grinding to get this all done. So I would really appreciate that. So let's get into it. Let's take a look at the achievement guide for classic. So starting off with Druid, we have the achievement of never forget. And you must play a chill win Yeti on turn one. This is a throwback to well, turn one Yeti. It's like one of the most OG strong power plays. And well, you just play bit of range combo Druid with innervate. You just innervate it out on like turn one with the coin, you get it done. Or you play two innervates on turn one without the coin and you get it done. You just mulligan until you have it if you really want to. But if you play combo Druid, you'll eventually get this. It's not too complicated. Same can't be said for natural causes. Uh, deal lethal damage with naturalize and you get 20 achievement points and you must kill your opponent with naturalize. Naturalizing like a leper gnome does not work. You can't do it. It has to be the damage brought on by naturalize itself so you have to fatigue your opponent so i played this mill druid i happen to queue uh, into a control priest who drew a bunch of cards and i bounced like cold lights to get them at closer to fatigue and then double naturalize them to finish them off but this one's going to be awkward it's going to be you need the right matchup you basically face an aggro deck it's not going to happen but maybe even like a miracle rogue which is pretty popular they draw a lot you might be able to catch them off guard so Tough one, but again, you have to kill them with the naturalizes. So cold light oracles and bouncing them and then trying to defend yourself is your best bet. And then the last druid one is eco, not so friendly. Deal 18 damage to the enemy hero in a single turn with Treants. Again, play combo druid. You need to play force of nature, uh, savage roar, innervate savage roar. That's your 18 damage. Uh, the more complicated process of this one is not having your opponent concede. So I actually, because it kept happening, I just wouldn't hit them. I kept them at full health, then did the combo because well, I'm not killing them right and then they didn't concede so that could be a bit complicated because they see those they have a lot of time to prepare a lot of people concede so i basically threw the game for the sake of this achievement next we have the hunter achievement starting off with all you can eat buffet draw six cards with starving buzzard in a single turn i just played this uh secret beast hunter you don't have to run secrets i was doing just multitasking with the the secret achievement we'll talk about in a bit yeah just play starving buzzard with a bunch of cheap beasts you can play two starving buzzards at once and they kind of help each other really not too complicated uh you can do this on like six or seven mana uh next and this one is an absolute pain in the ass always huffer summon huffer to your side four times in a row it must be done from animal companion bouncing it with like a brewmaster doesn't work that doesn't work so you have to roll four in a row so obviously you can't really do it in one game unless you have help which i happen to have because somebody queued into me we'll talk about it that's like a one in 81 shot to get four in a row and that's two companions a game it can be frustrating so i made this lore walker cho huffer where if i queued into a viewer basically or a friend on ladder we would bounce companions back and forth and that's ended up what happening and we did it over and over and over until we got it we both got it except the first time I completed it and yes the first time I completed it I kept rolling companions after I did it because why not right and then I went to the achievement menu and it was gone the, the achievement said zero four that's right this achievement is bugged as it stands and I don't know if they're gonna fix it but if you roll four hovers in a row it unlocks the achievement but if you roll another 
uh, animal companion after that that's not a huffer it basically you lose your progress so what you have to do is after you roll four in a row immediately go to the achievement menu claim the achievement and then you're free to play animal campaigns because it won't reset after that so yes i did this one twice i lost my mind it was brutal but again if you are going to go for this one just be aware when you roll four claim it back out of the game right away and claim that achievement or else it will go away uh next we have full quiver attack five times with the same eagle horn bow so i just used the secret beast hunter same thing as like the uh starving buzzard hunter um you just your opponent attack into your secrets and you know you get more durability you'll hit five times not too bad uh some games you might die or kill them before it can happen but you'll eventually get it done it's thing too tricky uh next we have the mage achievements with mana mana and your turn with a mana worm with eight attack or higher um i just played a freeze mage with mana worm in it and apprentice and just basically stalled till i had an apprentice mana worm and a bunch of cheap spells and play them all in one turn after my ice block had been procced or whatever got my mana worm to eight and got out it doesn't have to attack it just has to end the turn at eight attack so it wasn't too hard i just stalled and it, the deck's not gonna win but you'll get the achievement done next is gg was close win a game after being saved by Os ice block twice play freeze mage have your ice block proc twice lethal your opponent really isn't too complicated you know just burn them down with you know get them down with alex burn them out you'll find the right matchup just you know and there's no counterplay to secrets other than flare so you don't have to worry about your plot you know your block being destroyed unless you're facing a hunter and i wouldn't recommend trying to go this after this achievement against hunter anyways and lastly we have aha create 50 fireballs with archmage and tinnitus you get 40 achievement points and again i did a freeze mage but this time i put archmage and apprentice and basically drew my deck and then i would play archmage apprentice and a bunch of cheap spells and you know generate a bunch of fireballs and if it stuck i would keep doing that and if it didn't i'd move on to the next game and eventually i cast enough fireballs to get this achievement done next we have the paladin achievements with molten wrath deal 20 damage with a single holy wrath uh 20 achievement points basically you have to run two holy wraths two molten giants and eventually get lucky you saw in the intro i got lucky with a lethal with it but again i just played some cycle i played holy wraths and you know just get lucky there's no way to shuffle cards into your deck in classic it's pure rng and it's quite a lot of fun to go for it uh next Next is enough to share with everyone buff five minions with sword of justice in a single turn 20 achievement points i just played this sword of justice token paladin had a bunch of cheap minions and i would equip it and play five in one turn again you're not gonna win but you'll buff your weapon and it's pretty good with like wisps and stuff there's zero mana pretty effective and last we have i owe you one draw 100 cards of divine favor it's a this is just a grindy one you can play any divine favor paladin deck whatever but i play this one just a bunch of cheap stuff and mukla because mukla adds bananas to your opponent's hand helping you draw a couple more cards if they're not holding cards but other than that just grind this one out you'll get it done next we have the priest achievements the fire within destroy your opponent with a 30 30 or larger minion so i played this inner fire priest it's for 20 achievement points and basically you want an injured blade master to stick on the board it has seven health you play powered shield on it putting it to nine divine spirit puts it to 18 divine spirit puts it to 36 inner fire kill your opponent the problem is having it stick having those combo pieces the deck's not very good the draw is very inconsistent you only of cleric and it's really bad but i got lucky eventually and stuck at uh injured blade master and killed my opponent but i also put stormwind knight in there for another kind of flexible option you can't actually do it in one turn you, there's not enough mana but you can buff it up and make it really hard to kill and then do it but overall it's pretty much injured blade master at least i found her but you can always share your strategies in the comments below next we have circle of healing destroy seven minions with a circle of healing so you have to clear the board effectively but your opponent might not always have a full board so i played akana I wisp priest i just played some wisp some cheap stuff Auk and i kill my own stuff and kill their stuff as well important to note uh spell damage does not work with Auk and i circle so if you play this like azure drake you won't kill off your Auk and i so just be aware of that if you're trying to get that type of a combo and last priest achievement is never go full narshire for 40 achievement points draw 150 cards with narshire doesn't have to be in a game just over time it's a grind one but Northshire and wild pyro and circle of healing are your best friends you can get a lot of self milling going on with this deck you're not really gonna win games with this deck but you can do a lot of drawing and that will get your achievement done next we have rogue with um final flurry deal lethal damage with blade flurry 20 achievement points let's play miracle rogue you'll eventually get lethal i i just suggest running two blade flurries to make it more consistent plus two blade flurries is pretty good against all the like the zoo locks and aggro decks out there so yeah play miracle rogue just finish lethal with the blade flurry so deadly poison you can hit in for like three and then blade flurry again it scales with spell damage as well so shouldn't be too hard to accomplish just you know play miracle rogue uh we have blunt force trauma cast seven head cracks in a single game 
uh, for 20 achievement points. Just I played this head crack rogue, just spam head cracks. Again, you're not going to win, but just keep spamming them and hopefully you don't die before you're able to play seven. This only took me a couple tries, so it wasn't too hard. And then you have Now You See Me, and this one is a pain in the butt. Destroy 25 minions with Vanish. So what you have to do is effectively play Mill Rogue, where you're bouncing, you know, playing Cold Lights, filling your opponent's hand, and then prep Vanishing on to, so that their minions, you know, their, their hand's too full, they can't fit the minions, so they, they, they're they blown up. So you can even do it to your own as well, but basically play Mill Rogue, lose a lot of games, because Mill Rogue really sucks, and I even took out the win condition. I didn't bother with Leroy, because I don't care about winning, and just eventually you'll destroy enough minions to vanish, but this one is a real grind and uh, will not help your rank at all. Next, we have Shaman with Caught in the Storm. Deal 30 damage with a single Lightning Storm for 20 achievement points. So just think about Lightning Storm on a full board of seven minions, uh, even a high roll, all three, that's 21. So I played this Malagos Lightning Storm Shaman, and basically what you need to do is Farsight into either Lightning Storm or Malagos, and then hope they have a re relatively full board and then go Malagos Storm. You only need, I think, four or five minions and you can pair another spell damage minion in there maybe if you got luckier of a spell damage totem up. So that's how I did it. It's not gonna win you games again, but if you high roll that one of those three cards, you can get this done. We have Fly Swatter, uh, destroy 20 characters with Alakir the Windlord for 20 achievement points. Let's play Midrange Bloodless Shaman. I actually climbed with this deck, it was okay. Uh, Midrange Shaman is not that bad in Classic, so if you're looking to play Shaman these days, classics all right and yeah just kill kill characters that can be enemy heroes or minions with alakir again it's grindy it's an eight mana legendary you can only play one of so 20 characters it takes some time and then we have the thirst quencher deal 500 damage with bloodlust and minions for 40 achievement points again this takes a while especially people conceding to your bloodlust but i played the exact same mid-range bloodlust shaman deck does well and it's important to note it's um like the minions so say you have a four attack minion and it attacks for seven with bloodlust seven counts towards the 500 damage Damage. so this doesn't take as long as it looks it's not as bad but again uh it's more of a grind one and you'll get it done eventually warlock achievements with you face a zero mana spell destroy hero with sacrificial pact um so you have to sack pack jaraxxus but that could be your own jaraxxus you can be yourself so i just played suicide lock played jaraxxus and murdered myself turned out pretty good and got the achievement done pretty quickly uh, we have your death was useful 20 achievement points as well destroy eight minions with a single shadow flame so basically you have to destroy either a giant or like a four attack minion and completely clear a full board i did this just against like a, i think a zoo lock with um on a molten giant but and i was playing the exact same suicide lock but you could throw in like leroy to throw some whelps in there to try and help the cause as well if they need more minions but other than that it's finding the right matchup to get that shadow flame or putting leroy into the mix and even bouncing it maybe if you have like a zero mana shadow flame or something like that i don't know but yeah that's probably the best way to go and lastly have anything but discard discard five soul fires doom guards or fell stalkers for 40 achievement points i played this discard warlock and just tried to set up discarding those specific cards there's not very many discard cards in classic actually these are three of the four the only other one being deathwing and that's not exactly a reliable strat so yeah i just played my my soul fires doom guards and fell stalkers and tried to discard them and if i didn't just keep going and it was a pain in the butt but I eventually got it done and you can play it in zoo lock which can climb regardless so it won't hurt your win rate too much but you'll probably try and sabotage yourself a little bit with the discards and the last class is warrior with no whetstone, no problem. Destroy seven minions with a single gore howl. Just play control warrior. Um, you'll find the right grinding matchup and just, yeah, kill seven minions with a gore howl until it's a one, one little stub. It, it, it takes a while, but it, you'll get it done. Armor Smith always wins, which is win a brawl with armor Smith for 20 achievement points. You can just play two armor Smiths on an empty board and brawl them and that'll count or just win a brawl with armor smith it's just you know get lucky eventually you'll get it done uh this one took me a while because i don't i'm not very good at winning brawls but again it's you can literally set it up where you play two armor smiths in a brawl and it, it'll work and last we have who you want me to kill for 40 achievement points attack with frothing berserker with 10 20 attacker wild so i played this frothing warrior you can give it charge and just like whirlwinds and get it buffed or you can just temple one out hope it sticks and whirlwind it to scale quickly um charge i just like to put in there so i you know i can try and do it myself up, but overall you need to find the right matchup get the right rng and eventually you'll get it done but there's no real exact way to do it from in hand there's not enough mana or enough minion summoning stuff so it's one of those kind of those ones where you just got to get the right matchup last we have the neutral achievement starting with nothing co can go wrong have your play opponent play no spells to turn after you play millhouse 
I just played a mill house control where you could literally put mill house in any deck hope to queue into like an aggro deck that's like run out of cards just play mill house and they typically don't run a lot of spells anyways but yeah you need to fight the right matchup like do it against miracle rogue it's never going to happen a dawn of the aspects play 30 legendary dragons for 30 achievement points i'm listing here freeze mage with one legendary dragon but if you're going for all these achievements you're going to be playing alex Straza, you're going to be playing like a malagos uh ysera stuff like that you'll eventually get it done but yeah i got it done just playing freeze mage over time it's you know you can you can make it faster you can make it slower but just play dragons it's not that complicated uh like one of your samurai murlocs for 20 achievement points you draw 100 cards with cold light oracle just play that mill rogue i already linked it'll work very well you won't win games but you'll draw a lot of cards with cold light oracle um anger management play 60 enrage minions for 50 achievement points i just played this enrage divine favor pally it's double dipping on the divine favor achievement and yeah just threw a bunch of enrage minions that it would spam like a Monty berserkers or the torn guy or whatever just just throw them out there angry chickens they count you just have to, they don't have to be enraged just just be enraged minion so it'll get done pretty quickly uh we have ragnaros the snipe lord this is the complicated one destroy the enemy with uh hero with ragnaros while there's seven minions on the board um so yeah for 20 whole achievement points so basically i made a way of doing this basically guaranteed you play miracle rogue you play ragnaros you play an owl on the ragnaros silencing it prep conceal because if it if it's not silence and it attacks it, it with the the shot in the conceal it'll actually take it out of conceal hope it sticks and then play leroy shadow step leroy shadow step leroy and you summon six minions as long as they have one you can hit them a bunch with leroy and then hit them with the ragnaros for the lethal and it does count it doesn't have to be a rag shot so unless you want to get that right matchup where they have seven minions and get that exact lethal i think it's better to try and set this up it didn't take me too long it's clunky but it's still miracle rogue so it can get the job done but that's my best bet for you on that one um, standing on the shoulders, play 88 giants for the minimum cost. You get 10 achievement points. You could play like handlock to do this, but I played freeze giant mage because he can get to zero or 10 health very quickly and you have ice block to protect you. And then I would play molten giants and all the bouncers, all the panda cards to bounce them back into my hand and replay them right away. Cause that counts. So I didn't really win any games because I didn't really put in a win condition. You could try and win with giants if you want, but yeah, just get low. Ice block protects you, play a bunch of giants, do that over and over. 88's a lot, so it takes some time. Um, then we have this time for sure, transform a 1-1 one, one minion into a 5-5 five, five with Tinker Master Overspark for 10 achievement points. I got this done in Control Warrior just against like an aggro deck, but you could just throw in like Tinker Master with like Wisps and then just throw them on the board at the same turn and just hope to turn one into a 5-5 five, five, or play like a token paladin, you know, hero power, play Tinker Master. That'll work. You know, you'll get the 50-50 eventually, and that'll be pretty good. We have Doom, Doom, Doom. Destroy 70 minions with Doomsayer for 30 achievement points. You'll get this done with Freeze Mage. Frost Nova, Doomsayer is pretty effective, and yeah, it'll get it done. Freeze Mage is definitely your best bet. We have the Irate Poultry. Destroy your opponent with an Enraged Angry Chicken for 10 achievement points. I did this in Angry Chicken Charge Warrior, where I would basically play Inner Cleric with a charge, and then play Inner Rage, Rampage, Inner Rage for a bunch of damage, and I would get them low with like war axe and cork run elites and stuff like that so i did a charge combo you can just play like a buff like buff it up with blessing of kings stuff like that but the warrior route went pretty well for me oh we have chicken dinner destroy 50 heroes with leroy jenkins 30 achievement points you can get this done with like any aggro deck that runs leroy but i did with miracle rogue because that's your finisher so you get a lot of leroy lethals the problem is a lot of people like to concede when you play your leroy and it doesn't count if they concede so get those leroy hits as quickly as possible before your opponent can back out uh what do you mean random steal the highest cost enemy minion with uh mind control tech 20 achievement points i did this in a different mill rogue with mind control so they have a wide board i could play mind control shadow step mind control tech and hopefully eventually get one and again you can play any deck with mind control tech with it get it lucky at one time but i just up my odds with the shadow steps and the brewmasters and lastly, we have Auction Master. Draw 100 cards with Gadgets and Auctioneer for 40 achievement points. I played Miracle Rogue. This one is, you'll get it done in no time in your Miracle Rogue deck. And there you go. That's every classic achievement in the game. Hopefully this guide helps you guys out. If you have your own tips, your own suggestions, please share them in the comments below. Always uh, nice to share strategies and help each other out. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.